Hello, in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a dynamic search ads um, for your Google Ads campaign. So once you're in the um, interface, you click on the plus button and new campaign. And then you can select a campaign either with goal or without a goal. It really doesn't matter. But what is important that you need to select the search uh, campaign type because that's what we are starting to set up and uh, it's going on the search network. So why do you want to set up a, a dynamic search ads campaign? Um, every day on Google, approximately 15 to 20 percent of, of search terms are new, brand new, uh, because nowadays more people are using the voice uh, function in Google so we say things differently uh, than how we type so to cater for those new search terms uh, the dynamic search ads campaign work wonderfully well and you'll be able to uh, target those search queries and get your ads shown in uh, front of those uh, search terms so you click on the website visit and then you go put in your URL. Put in the name. I tend to exclude these two uh, from my main campaign. So I don't want the search partners for to start with and definitely not um, want the uh, Google Display Network because the Display Network is a completely different beast. Um, the the metrics, the data, everything is completely different. So I would not rec uh, recommend ever to have the Display Network and the Search Network in the same uh, campaign. If it's for a local uh, area and you are restricted by the amount of impressions you are getting, then by all means you can check this box and see how it is performing and test it. If it is not performing, then you take it off. Start and end dates. I personally don't put in an end date, but you can put in an end date if the campaign is for a specific event like Christmas, Valentine's, Mother's Day, Father's Day, and you don't want the ads uh, or the campaigns to run after the event has finished. So it's a good way to make sure that you don't uh, waste your money after the event has finished. Um, don't want to worry too much about that, but all you do in here, you put in your website address, select the language, and then what you need to do is you've got choice of three um, uh, targeting source but because I don't have a feed uh, set up that's for e-commerce websites where Google knows that you've got a feed set up I'm just going to go with the Google's index of my website select your targeting location your language now in here what you can do is set up your audiences as observation so we're not targeting we are just observing how they behave how they convert and which is the best type of audience uh, for our campaign so I'm gonna go through this list if I'm setting up a campaign for my own business which is digital marketing then I may want to show or target those people who are interested in social media, uh, web services, certainly, because if you've got a website, um, then you are my target audience. Anybody who is interested in hosting, because you will only be interested in web hosting if you've got a website. Advertising, viewed any of my videos. So all of these I can check. It doesn't matter how many. These are all very good audiences, domain registration, so they may be starting a new business. So you got to always think outside the box. Web design, I'm not too worried about lifestyle. 
and then you will also see over here uh, some more ideas as to what you can da, 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 da. okay that's all okay or you can go in here and if you uh, set up your affinity audience or your in market you uh, you can target those but we are not targeting we are just observing and see what it is and then once you've got data you can then uh, target them or adjust your bids uh, up or down depending on how they are performing put in your budget and under the bids this has been changed by Google and I personally believe it is causing a fair bit of confusion especially amongst the new uh, newbies and the people who are starting to run ads um, on a, a very new all they see are these four uh, bidding strategies and there's no way you can con uh, target by ma manual CPC so what you need to do is you go in here and then you will see the complete list of the automated bid strategies as well as the manual CPC so start off with a manual CPC get the data in and then you go to your target CPA or the target ROAS or whichever automated bid strategies you want to uh, go for if you go straight away to a target CPA because Google hasn't got any data and your budget may be very low you probably will not get any impressions and this is where a lot of frustration <laughs> creeps in as to why my ads are not running is because uh, either you set up the CPA quite low or you don't have the budget and Google doesn't have the data once you know that I'm getting leads at 10 pounds or 20 pounds then you can adjust your bidding strategies afterwards um, don't start with an enhanced CPC to begin with uh, just go manually so you've got a bit of control over your cost per click set up your conversions your ad schedule as to what time of the day you want to run your ads and then the ad rotation I personally uh, tend to do not optimize so I'll have multiple ads in the ad group so that the, all of them can run uh, the same amount rather than one ad taking up all the impressions and the other ones not getting a look in because if one is performing then Google is going to uh, prefer to run ads which are performing better which may be good for you but it's not a fair split test because if one one ad has got thousand impressions and the other one has got only 10 then you don't know whether the one which has got only 10 impressions uh, may outperform the one which has got the most impressions so let it run for a little while and then you can optimize afterwards set up your ad extensions your site links call outs call and your location and then save continue okay so i may have set it up this is my test account so that's fine i'll just rename it and then we set up the ad group this is where you just need to make sure that you're not on the standard but on the dynamic ad group and then you can call it whatever you like I'm gonna call it all web pages because that's what I'm going to target set your bid to whatever you want to bid and you've got all these search categories over here where it goes blog business headshots advertising and the search volume so you can see all of these search terms which Google scans your website and then it's going to uh, give you some suggestions over here and the amount of volume it can get for you or you can set up a specific um, uh, URL of a particular page you want to target I would go with web pages now in here you, we are not bidding at keyword level because there are no keywords and this is what it is called dynamic search ads it's going to mix and match or show your ads in front of that 
relevant search term which somebody is searching for. So that is why it is very interesting to see what kind of search terms um, your ads can get shown for. And if you find that you are getting a lot of um, irrelevant search terms uh, which you are getting the click for, then you can add them as a, a negative keyword. So you can bid up or bid um, lower depending on how much impression you are getting. So we're on here, as you can see at the top, you set up your campaign settings, then you set up your ad groups. We create the ads and the confirmation. So there are no keywords to, uh, to target. Save. And now we come here. Now, usually on the search ads, you've got uh, three headlines and two description lines. Whereas in here, all you've got is your description one up to 90 characters and description two of 490 characters as well. The headline is generated automatically or dynamically by Google, as you see over here on the ads. Right? That's the desktop version and that's the mobile version. So I can say... Um, digital marketing agency I'm just going to fill up and then um, we offer and you can put in your um, services Google ads web design photography video marketing and more get in touch for okay that's gonna so get in touch always have a call to action in fact while I'm writing this I can um, do this properly we can help you get more leads and sales for your business. Always write ads which is about the customer. So we can help you with, uh, that's the benefit of using us, right? And you click done and then you can either copy the same ad and then just make a tweak so get free quotation something like that and make a variation done Google is recommending three ads in every ad group so you can then you can let all three of them run save and continue and that is it so there are no keywords or keyword match types or anything you need to worry about set up your campaign set up your ad groups with start with all website pages create your ads and confirm so it's as easy as that and now google is going to um, approve your ads or disapprove depending on what you write in your ads once they're approved this is going to start to run and you see how how it performs against your other campaigns so I would highly recommend that you give it a try if you haven't um, set up a dynamic search ads campaign and uh, let me know what results you have already got or what you may get in the near future so thanks for being with me over here I uh, hope you enjoyed this video and I look forward to seeing you in my next one. Bye for now.